All right, hope everyone's doing wonderful today. Today, what I got in store is me opening up and checking out another old booster pack from the card game Magic the Gathering. And today, the booster pack I have is from the expansion Weatherlight. What an interesting old booster pack right here. Got this chrome looking alien person, interesting sort of crown made out of chess pieces or something like that, and crazy hoop earrings. Interesting swirly kind of wood carved background as well. Really like the art on this old booster pack. I don't think I've ever opened up Weatherlight booster packs on this channel. Well, English versions of it, I have opened up, I believe, a couple in like the Multiverse gift box and the Vanguard gift box, but I think they were like Korean and Italian or something like that. So I believe this is going to be the first English version of Weatherlight that I've ever opened up. Very cool, older pack, 15 tradable game cards, Magic the Gathering, uh, Chrome looking alien person, Weatherlight is the, pa uh, is the expansion. What is this? Read a little bit on the back. Witches of the Coast. This cost $2.95 when it came out. It contains 15 cards. The tap symbol and the mana symbols are trademarked. And this came out in 1997, so quite a while ago. I think this is from Dominaria. So let's just lift this up. What does this say here? Uh, Sissé of the Weatherlight has been kidnapped. Oh yeah, the original uh, Sissé. Uh, and her, the remaining crew... At the fly of the flying ship must risk everything to recover her from the part of the Imperial Abdinia to the mysterious uh, forest of Lanawar to the volcanic heart of Bogadan. Adventure awaits them at every turn. Come aboard Weatherlight to book passage uh, for adventure. So I guess Weatherlight is the giant ship, the original Weatherlight ship. Very cool. Again, Wizard of the Coast. Uh, let's just open it up and have some fun with it. I hope you're all doing wonderful today and enjoying the weather. It's actually really nice here today. Let's see what we get. I have no idea uh, the layout for these packs. It might be common on top, uncommon, I'm not really sure. This is uh, Downdraft, two in a green. It's an enchantment. Uh, this is the Weatherlight symbol right there. This is joined by John Matson. Looks like some sort of griffin creature is being buried in the earth. Some sort of, um, sort of a landslide or something. Interesting flying ship up there as well. Beautiful art. Pay green. Target creature loses flying till end of turn. That's pretty cool. And sacrifice it. Uh, deals two damage to each creature with flying. Wow, that's super powerful. Really meant for decks to be against creatures with flying. You can make them lose flying, and then you can sacrifice it. Deal two damage to each creature with flying. Very cool. Got a uh, serrated uh, by Skellington. Definitely by Ron Spencer. You can tell by his art. Crazy looking chrome guy. Looks like some sort of cricket or grasshopper jumping through a tornado or something. Three generic artifact creature. It's a 2 2. You pay, uh, you tap, put a negative one, negative one counter on it, and a negative one, negative one counter on target creature. So you can kind of put counters on creatures. You can only do it twice though, otherwise, it will uh, put its toughness down to zero. I mean, you could do it a couple more times if you raise its toughness up though. So just interesting, can kind of use it as a creature or distribute some counters or put some counters on creatures. Very cool. Next card I got is Volunteer Reserves. Uh, one in a white. It's got banning, commute upkeep of one. It's two, four, Kev Walker. Just like these pikemen hanging out there, ready to go into battle. Kind of has his arm crossed, got his uh, helmet off. Looks like they're just kind of waiting. They got banding. Okay. Next card I got is a uh, Gallow Braid. Three and two black, trample, commute upkeep, one life. It's a five, five. This is probably the rare, a summon legend. I'm guessing it is. Never seen this one before. Creepy looking zombie guy, but look. He has a nice kind of uh, golden hair. <laughs> Bizarre. He's just hanging out in the rubble of this uh, fallen building. If its skin looks like stone, but it's only to match its heart. Okay. And it can be up of one life per turn. It's got trampled. It's a 5-5 five, five for 5 mana. Hmm. Summon legend. All right. That's probably the rare. I'm not really sure. Got Tolarian Drake. Two and a uh, blue. Flying and phasing. So 2-4. Summon Drake. Cool. Hanging out. You can see through the glass roof right there. Beautiful art by Mark Harrison. I got Guided Strike. One in a white. Instant target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains first strike till end of turn and draw a card by uh, Gary Leach. Interesting art. Looks like they're in some sort of underground place fighting some sort of mold monster or something. Look at those eyes. They're huge and glowing. <laughs> Very interesting. Got Rogue Elephant. One green to summon elephant for your elephant tribal deck. It's a three three, f one green for a three three. When it comes into play, sacrifice a force or bury it. That's kind of cool though. Um, it's a one mana three three by Steve White. And if you don't sacrifice a forest, you gotta bury it. You can tell he's just taking the forest down. <laughs> Interesting. 
got Flux. This is definitely by Richard Kane Ferguson. I really like their art. Two in a blue. Crazy looking art. Can't tell what's going on right there. Looks like there's some sort of hand with fire emitting from it. You can see a staff in the background. Maybe a face over here. Looks like people are clashing. Crazy amounts of water and fire in there. It's a sorcery. Each player chooses and discard any number of cards, then draws that many cards, and then also draw a card. Powerful stuff. Flux. Very cool. Got Dwarven Berserker. That looks like Douglas Schulter. Yep, you can tell. A uh, one in a red. He's just hanging out there with his mohawk and his battle axe, ready for action. It's a 1-1 one, one for one in a red. If it's blocked, it gets plus a 3, plus 0, and gains trample till end of turn. Very cool. I may be small, but I can kick your butt. <laughs> Very cool. It has some sort of a, if you attack with it, it becomes blocked, becomes a 4-1 with trample. Very cool. Got zombie scavengers, two in a black. Looks like they're zombies that use some sort of bow and arrow, or maybe they're wearing masks on their head. It's hard to tell what's going on, but there's definitely skeletons right down there. Summon zombies. It's a 3-1. Remove the top card. Top creature card in your graveyard from the game to regenerate. Okay. That's interesting. So you have a creature in your graveyard. You can remove it. Like they eat it or something, and it regenerates it. By Patrick uh, Kokiji. Very cool. Okay, got Manta Ray. Yep, a summoned fish. It should be a summoned Manta Ray. One and two blue. It's got island home, so if a uh, defending player controls no islands, this creature cannot attack. If you control no islands, bear this creature. So it needs to attack. It needs water to swim, so your opponent has to have an island. And if you don't have an island, this thing uh, dies. Manta Ray cannot be blocked except by blue creatures. So 3-3 three, three by Unifricker. Interesting island home ability. It needs the water to survive. Got Blood Rock Cyclops, two in a red. Uh, Tom Wanderstone, 3-3. Three, three, uh, attacks each turn if able. He's just hanging out in the barren wastelands of a volcano. <laughs> so I got Imperial Armor, one and two white. Enchanted creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of creature uh, number of cards in your hand. By D. Alexander Gregory. So if you got five cards in your hand, that creature gets plus five, plus five, and so on and so forth. You definitely want to have more cards in your hands for that. Interesting. And then I got Lanoir Druid, one and a green. Summon Elf, it's a one, two, and it has tap, sacrifice Lanoir Druid, untap all forests. That's kind of powerful right there. Um, get double value out of your forest if you want, but at the expense of this poor person right here. Interesting. Looks like there's just regular people in the background. It looks like the guy who was on the Vanguard box right there. I don't remember his name. Then you got, like, just regular people walking through the forest, and she's hiding from them. My Pete Ventures. Oh, I guess I have one more card. I got Fire Whip. One and a red enchant creature. Play only on a creature you control. Tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature does one damage to target creature or player. Sacrifice Fire Whip. Fire Whip deals one damage to target creature or player. By Jeff Miracola, you can throw it on a creature, and then use that creature to ping away at somebody. And then if you sacrifice this, you can do two damage if you want that turn. Interesting. Looks like a caveman. Whipping this other person with the fire whip. Very bizarre art by Jeff Miracola. Oh, very cool. I think the rare card in this uh, pack is probably a Galabraid. Interesting summon legend. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy these type of things. I love opening up and checking out older Magic the Gathering uh, sets and packs with you all. Let me know what you think. And I just want to thank you for stopping by. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a beautiful, wonderful day.